Hey there, Leo. Hope you guys' week has been good to you guys so far. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying, what's coming out for your guys' highest good at this time. This is for my beautiful sign of Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo. Talk about Leo, please. What are we talking about today? I don't like how that felt. My cord. Leo. We got fun times here. We got some rumors here. One more. Got a proposal here. Differences here. All right. So there's some kind of rumors that have been trying to get in the way of something here. There's some differences between you and somebody else here. So you guys are preparing for these fun times. Like you're about to be having fun with somebody here. There's some talkers that were trying to like run their mouth about something. What's the overall energy for Leo? Ooh, that came out forcefully. Balancing. Balancing out everything. Something about balancing being restored. There's some kind of balance coming into play after some kind of rumors we're trying to mess with something here. And happiness, aware that we're on the right path, we're happy, we're chilling, we're going down the path that's meant for us. So there's some kind of forgiveness. So the forgiveness is for you. So some kind of like, it's almost like somebody wants to forgive, like somebody is wanting some kind of forgiveness for listening to rumors or maybe could have added to some kind of rumors here. Huh, what is this? Leo. Close to nature, enjoying freedom. So it's something here about you really disconnecting from some kind of like low vibing gossiping energy here. There's something here about you just being at one with the universe, putting out your wish fulfillments, and just learning to embrace this joy and happiness. Something unexpected may happen. Yeah, because this person is trying to come toward you with some kind of proposal here. And I'm about to fall in love. So there could have been some kind of rumors about somebody coming towards someone. Uh, there was some kind of like dark rumors trying to get in the way of something. I keep getting that. So it's almost like somebody here has been like removing themselves away from certain energies that just want to run around and, and gossip and talk. Leo. Vitality. Caring about my health and my well-being. So something here about something here about renewed energy. Something here about just really like looking refreshed, like attracting that refreshed energy towards you. There's something about your youthful appearance here. And there's balance again, balancing living physical life with the spiritual path. So that's just finding a fine line balance when it comes to your spiritual growth and this, you know, our day-to-day -day activities that we have to do as well here. There's some kind of balance being restored with this connection here. Tell me more. Let me get another one. Let me get another one. Meditation. Taking time to meditate. Filter out negative thinking. Attaining inner peace. So there's something here definitely about filtering out this negative gossip. These rumors. Could be meditating. You may want to meditate. There's something about learning to ground your energy. And then that divine timing. I am patient. I trust that events will unfold at precise moments they are meant to happen. So there's something that's meant to happen right when it's meant to with that divine timing here. And there it is again. Forgiveness. By releasing negative emotions and forgiving the past, I am free to live a peaceful, harmonious life. So something here about just practicing forgiveness. Just something here about just forgiving self. Something here about forgiving and making room in your heart space to open up for like I don't know something about like happiness and just like ultimate emotional fulfillment by getting rid of the the hate and the resentment Leo somebody wants forgiveness for listening to some kind of rumors I keep getting that let me get one for uh, Leo I am fulfilled by love. And this is learning to pour into yourself, being happy and content with self. 
And by putting that energy out, you are attracting love towards you because of this. Like you are fulfilled by love. Let me get another one. Take the weight of the world off your shoulders. And that's what you've been doing as well. Releasing anything that hinders your growth. So it's almost like somebody wants to come in here and have some kind of talk with you after some kind of rumors were said here. And it's like this is like, it's like they're going to take the weight of their own, the weight off of something by coming in here and, and talking to you. You are safe to shine. Because boy, did you have some people that were trying to like mess with your shine. So this person coming towards you is somebody that will want you to shine. They won't try to dull you like you've dealt with in past energies. Your mind is an alter source to energy. So there's something here about just looking at the bigger picture and just really absorbing a lot of knowledge. Just really like tapped in to some kind of limitless energy for yourself. There's something about your, your third eye being activated here. Your mind is a source to energy. So there's something about your mindset and shifting your, just shifting your, your perspective in all areas of your life. Talk about fun times. So there's fun times coming in with this person coming towards you. So this is somebody coming in to offer love to you. This is somebody that wants to, um, they, they want to open up emotionally to you. This is someone that wants to have fun with you. Like, man, this is somebody that has been in the background waiting, waiting for the right time to approach because there was some kind of rumors that were getting in the way of this. So this is somebody that doesn't want you to get away from them. There's something about traveling. You two could travel. This is somebody that knows that they've got to, like, they've got to come towards you. Somebody's been shifting their perspective about something here. So somebody is realizing that something is meant to happen with you. Somebody's looking at something differently. And there's something here about worrying, overthinking things, caring too much what people think. Just really, just really in like a very overstimulated energy when it comes to their mind. So this is somebody that's been like overthinking something. And there's something about rumors that we're trying to like add more to this person's mental confliction. Somebody did not want someone to receive this, have this. The star. So there's some kind of wish fulfillment coming in when it comes to these fun times that you're meant to be having with someone. So this is like something about this just that's that renewed energy that I'm picking up on. There's something about this renewed energy that is like you both are like wish fulfillments to each other. The sun is like happiness. Just getting out there and having fun with each other. And there was an energy of someone being stuck at a crossroads. Wasn't sure if they were meant to go down the path that leads to you. But now they're ready to take that path that leads to you. All right. This one's confusing me a little bit. Time out rumors. Rumors, why is this here? There was some rumors going around. Somebody was making up rumors about this loving, kind, compassionate, nurturing energy. There are rumors going around right now that somebody has feelings for somebody. So there's like some talk going on. I feel like in the beginning, like when the rumors first started, it was something like negative. But now it's shifting to like somebody has feelings for you. And now there's people starting to talk about that. Tell me more about rumors. And there was some rumors trying to create some kind of like illusions and confusions. Trying to really like, I don't know. There's something here about really trying to like get in the way of something. There was rumors trying to get in the way of something. But now rumors are that something is, somebody still has feelings for somebody. Somebody still wants something. So there was rumors about third party energy. There was definitely third party energy that was trying to create some kind of rumors like betrayal, heartbreak, rumors about another lover. Could have been a, a third party lover trying to create rumors. Somebody still chooses you. So now the rumors are that somebody still wants a new beginning here with you. Like somebody, 
there was rumors trying to throw shade on this empress and it's something is being aired out now it has rumors is just what they are so somebody's karma is coming around to bite somebody in the butt for for falsely saying negative things about this empress there is definitely some kind of judgment call that somebody is still making and somebody is still coming towards somebody regardless of rumors. So whatever rumors were said, it didn't work. Somebody is still coming towards you. And it's almost like somebody here is like kicking themselves for listening to these rumors. That's why they're wanting forgiveness here. They feel bad about it. All right. Time out proposal for Leo. So there's an offer in love coming towards you. High priestess. So there's some there's no communication right now, but there's something about just just having this inner knowing about something happening here. Like you it's almost like you can feel something is still happening. Like man, tell me more about proposal. So there's somebody wanting to have a conversation here there was definitely something here that was trying to like stop this proposal of love like somebody was trying to like get in the way of it somebody was trying to get somebody to leave them out not have something but something is still happening there's still a conversation taking place here something felt like it was stuck at one time but it was just slowly progressing forward so this is somebody that's been moving they they haven't been like it's like they've been moving slower towards this but it's like it was meant to play out that way because there was something that was trying to get in the way of this so this is like unexpressed feelings emotions here and there's like some mirroring energy this is like you two mirroring each other both are very smart both are very intellectual there is a conversation that's going to be taking place between these two. And there's some kind of love offer coming in and an apology. Somebody wants to come in here and take control of something. Somebody is tired of listening to the, the chicken heads, we'll call them. The chicken heads running their mouth and talking. Somebody wants to, to get something off the ground running with you now. Because somebody's realizing that it was just rumors being said. Time out differences for uh, Leo. Man. So. This is somebody here that is like. This is somebody that's. Um, it's almost like they're angry because. They're, it's almost like the rumors also were like. And being emphasized on the difference between the two of you. But it's like this person is just getting pissed off at people around them like they're tired of listening to these chicken heads running their mouth <laughs> this is somebody that's coming in here to get you they don't care about the differences there's definitely some kind of differences that have taken place and there is definitely another energy on the outside one of these chicken heads that's pissed off that something that they weren't able to stop something from happening tell me more about differences Not a cup. Somebody still looks at you as a wish fulfillment. Somebody still looks at you with, I don't know, like this person looks at you with so much amazement. Like they're amazed by you, what you do, like who you are. There could have been like some selfish energy that was trying, there definitely was, There could. there's not could have, there was selfish energy that was trying to get in the way of these two. And I keep getting like this person is like kicking themselves. They they feel like they were selfish letting these rumors get in the way of this. They're they're angry. This one's angry. Somebody is still wanting to like build something with you. And there was definitely like a like something that was just like something was trying to build up against this. Somebody's seeing something for what it is now. So there's been some hermiting energy that's taken place between the two of you. There's some kind of like pent up sexual energy between the two of you. 
All right. <laughs> There's some kind of pent up sexual energy between the two of you guys. Somebody is coming in here. Like somebody views you as this man. This person views you as like a very alluring, very magical, very powerful. There was so much illusions and oh, this manipulation trying to get in the way of this. So this was like. A self-sabotaging energy and these rumors didn't help it. Somebody feels like you got everything that you need to like, like you got everything going on in your life and like you both can make some things happen together here. I've got earth, water, fire, Pisces, air, water, water, Pisces, earth, air, fire, and water here. My only major arcana that I have out here is the High Priestess. So this is learning to trust the intuition. Learning, like, to really see something from your own personal views and not what these rumors were being said. So there was some differences. And there was some haters that were trying to use the differences to try to, like, stall something out. But there's these unlevels. Unlevels. Uncharted territories of unconditional levels of love coming in. So it's almost like this person is like still in this energy of like second guessing themselves. But they want to stand by you. They want you to stand by them. There was a karmic energy. More than one for someone here. Trying to like get in the way of this. So there was karmics really trying to like go hard to try to stop something. Both of you and this person coming towards you have been releasing these karmics. There's some kind of soul connection that you have with this person. So a masculine energy has been calling for their person. So you masculines are definitely feeling some kind of pull from your feminines. And feminines, I feel like you're feeling this from your masculine as well. This is somebody that still chooses you. Despite the rumors and what was being said, they still choose you. But I keep picking up for someone here. This person wants forgiveness for listening to the rumors. Leo. Time is running out. Somebody feels like time is running out. I'm going to flip that and reverse it. Told me to reverse it. Feeling the pressure, losing patience requires immediate attention. So somebody knows that these, these karmics know that these rumors aren't working anymore. And this person wanting to come towards you, they feel like time is running out. They feel like they need to make their move. A lot of you guys are getting back out there, meeting new people. Just getting rid of old networks in order to create new networks. Just getting back out there and enjoying life again. And somebody has this admiration for you. So somebody may have felt like you're out of their league or you could have been out of their league. Or vice versa. But there was something that was just... These rumors were trying to like really play on that. You're the queen. You're a natural leader. You're the queen. You're the king. You're the natural leader. You stand out from the rest. You rule someone's heart. Somebody views you as beautiful, graceful. Just your energy is very magnetizing. Very alluring. Two hearts falling in love. The feeling is mutual. Equal effort on both. And there was so much drama... That was trying to get in the way of this. Something became out of control. So these karmics know that they can't stop something. And you're being recognized. Somebody's recognizing you. And there's just something about you in general that's just being recognized. The, the rumors aren't working anymore. So you've got so much joy that you are embracing. Because you went through your transformation with a joyful embrace. So... You're calling more joy into you because you're operating out of that happiness here. Karmic ties in reverse. So something here about these karmic energies were never loyal. These karmic energies were trying to say that this counterpart was not loyal. The karmics were trying to stop a loyal connection from taking place here. But these karmics aren't able to stop anything. Something about karmic debt being paid between these two counterparts. Both are still having this loyal offer to each other. Wonderful new beginnings on the right path. So this is going for it. This is this pathway being illuminated for both of you. New connections. New connection with this love for sure. Some of you guys are just creating new connections with friends. Family dynamics here. 
And there's this blessed union meant to be together. A love that transforms a divine mission that you have with someone. And this is something refreshing. There's something about your energy being renewed, being refreshed, and you're attracting that person towards you. This person is different than what they've usually dealt with, and and they are towards you as well. This is somebody that you've not... This is like a whole nother level of love that you you haven't experienced before. These rumors were trying to like stop something, making it seem like nothing good would come out of this. But oh, it's still it's still coming. This divine love. Part of your abundance that you're receiving is this person. There's some kind of heart chakra that's been activated between the both of you. This is someone that can't stop fantasizing about you. They can't stop thinking about you. This is somebody that's been calm and collected. Something about self-control. Something about emotions. Registering feelings and emotions when it comes between the two of you. There's something about the way that you've been showing up. By It's almost like you knew that something was being said about you. But you just, you just didn't care. You just kept being in this calm, cool, collected energy. And that also has been shattering some kind of rumors as well. So we got a twin flame connection here. So this person could be your twin flame here. You are your twin flame. Don't let these titles keep you stuck. Your twin flame is literally your mirrored soul. So you'll know who your twin flame is. Not everybody has a twin flame. So just use your discernment. And they've got a big old heart. Kind, loving, generous. Can be trusted with your heart. So there was rumors making it seem like you couldn't be trusted. Or they couldn't be trusted. But somebody's realizing that you have this big, kind, loving heart. It's like two people that have both have loving, kind hearts that are meant to come together. Leo. Moving away from the rumors first off. And there was some karmic energies that thought for sure they were going to be able to move these two people away from each other. But that's not the case. So something here could be like own children trying to get in the way of this. That's for somebody. But there's something here about you and this counterpart. You both have been through some kind of like neglect, abuse when it's like something about home environment, home life here. So somebody's coming back. Somebody's wanting forgiveness here. They, man, somebody is kicking themselves for listening to the rumors like they, okay, tell me more. Somebody ran from you. And somebody's realizing that they never should have ran from you. Tell me more. The rumors didn't help. Tell me more. Same stuff, different day. So there was something here about... Something about these karmic energies that have been around both of you. Both are doing the same stuff, different day. And you both are just fed up with these, these karmics. Tell me more. Love triangles. Somebody was trying to create some kind of triangle when it comes to this, this union. There is still some kind of karmic trying to get in the way of this connection. They've been working really hard to try to stop something. Tell me more. Happiness haters. That's what these karmics are. These are people that are not happy with their own lives. So they want to try to like, you know, make you stay miserable with them. Tell me more. Continue reflecting. Continue grounding your energy. Somebody's been reflecting on you and these rumors as well. Tell me more. Some bad habits. Some of you guys had some bad habits. Some things that you've been releasing here. Could have been some rumors surrounding these bad habits. These karmics have bad habits, but they don't want to talk about that. They want to bring up yours. Fake smiles. So a lot of these karmics have some fake smiles. Making things up about you, talking crap, like these are the type of energies where they like attention on them, so they'll just start running their mouth and just making things up. And then they smile on your face and make it seem like they have their your best interests when they don't. Tell me more. Somebody tried to make it seem like this was gonna be a bad offer. Don't do it, like it's dirty. Trying to Trying to cause drama. Trying to start drama. That's what these karmics do. And you're over here too busy winning. So that's another reason why the rumors are being shattered. Because you're winning. Let's 
So somebody's been reading tarot. Somebody could be an actual reader watching readings like this. But there's something here about... There was a lot of rumors going around about something about you just like running around, just not taking life seriously, like partying too much. And something is being shattered. So if you've been in this scene, you've been laying that to rest. This isn't line up with who you are anymore. And if there is like, if your counterpart's been in this party scene and there's like karmic energies around this person where they're, the karmics are pissed because... It's almost like your counterpart is like releasing people that they no longer line up with anymore as well. And it's like they're pissed off because your counterpart isn't partying with them anymore. Somebody's a divination abuser. Somebody was trying to paint you out as something dark and you're none of those things. Tell me more. Somebody was trying to cock block this. Mm-hmm, clearly. And you're over here dusting it off like you could care less what anybody's saying about you. You're ignoring the haters. Somebody's played out. Something is played out. Like the rumors are played out. Something isn't working anymore. Somebody's getting ready to travel towards you now. Something about bankruptcy. So there could have been some kind of rumors about you being like a, like a gold digger. Like you using people for finances. Somebody is watching from these fake accounts here. So, it's, man... Somebody's money is being depleted. So, like, there's, like, karmic energies that aren't happy because some kind of financial gain that they are receiving, they're not getting it anymore. Somebody's in their head analyzing you. Because someone was talking crap, man. Somebody was running their mouth talking crap about you. These groupies, all these chicken heads, these karmic friends, whether it's on both of your guys' part, but there's definitely was some, like, Frenemies trying to get in the way of something here. Now we've got some grudge holders. So we've got some karmics here that are holding on to some grudges because something didn't work the way that they wanted it to. Leo. So you've been making peace. Something about making peace with these, these frenemies that someone was dealing with. Getting rid of the frenemies. So there's something about you being at peace. And then that's been like restoring some kind of balance because you've been in this peaceful energy. So there's something here about moving through your pain. Something here no longer no longer um, operating out of this cautious energy. This other person I'm picking up on, they've been through some things as well. And it's like they were they were cautious to come towards you and these rumors didn't help. Tell me more. Somebody's after breaking point. Ooh, and they're bitter. So somebody here knows that something is their, someone is their person. Somebody there's, so there's some haters that are pissed off and mad because the rumors and what they were trying to do couldn't, they couldn't achieve something. They couldn't stop something from happening. And you've got a counterpart here that is like at their breaking point, overwhelmed. It's like, it's like this this counterpart is like angry. Like they're mad at these people. Like they're mad at the rumors. They're mad that they listen to the rumors. This person is your person. This is someone that you have a connection with. Tell me more. Something about both diving deep into their emotions and being aware. Both of you guys had to realize the importance and the value that you bring. Tell me more. This is like taking your life back day by day. There's something here about no longer accepting the bare minimum from these karmic energies anymore. This is, man, that's why these karmics are pissed because they can't, they don't have that power over something anymore. Tell me more. Something about trusting intuition. Somebody wishes they would have trusted their intuition because somebody ran from this. So somebody knows that something, so somebody knows that something's got to be restored. Like they've got to come towards you. They're going to have, they're going to have to like, they want forgiveness. This person just knew like these rumors weren't correct, but it still scared them though. Tell me more. So somebody's karma was 
somebody leaving you behind, like now their karma is realizing who you were to them. These karmics are getting hit with some karma as well for trying to mess with something here. Because somebody wanted you not to have something. They wanted you to be left out. And now there's some kind of karmic debt that has to be restored here. Somebody didn't expect for somebody just to walk away and just be happy and just chill. Something here about no longer being tied down and, and captive by these, these karmic energies. This is like closing out these karmic cycles and leaving the karmics behind. Somebody's realizing something now. Somebody's realizing that all these wrong, the, the rumors were just, they were that, they were rumors. Something about awakening between the two of you. There was so much confusion, so much un unclear, things were unclear about a past life. So something about a past life connection here. Something about these karmics. Some of these karmics followed you into this lifetime from a past life. And there's something about no longer repeating the karmic lessons. And somebody has been clinging, spying, these these. Karmics could be spying as well, but there's definitely some kind of like these influences were trying to like influence something here. They were trying to stop something here. So somebody turned their back on something here. Now somebody's daydreaming and imagining something with you. So they felt like something was a fantasy. Something was too good to be true. Now there's like just like a very quiet energy between the two of you. Somebody withdrawn and put boundaries up. And now somebody's like, somebody's realizing something now. The way that you've been like, because you've been learning to enforce boundaries. And this other person I'm picking up on has been doing the same. But there's, somebody didn't expect for you to withdraw from them. And somebody is kicking themselves for letting these rumors, like they, they're kicking themselves from withdrawing from you as well. Leo, what shadow work needs to be done? Journey inward. The path to enlightenment starts within you. Mm -hmm. This is about stepping into that growth. This is like letting, you know, going down that path of enlightenment. This is about going within, journeying within and processing feelings and things. Like this is just really like taking everything head on. Have courage. Stop hiding. Show up and let yourself be seen. Fear, vulnerability, and growth. And that's this person coming towards you. They got to step into their, their vulnerability. They got to get out of the fear. And this is also about you. No longer hiding yourself. No longer staying in fear-based energy. And this is about opening, opening up and embracing your growth. And you also learning to be vulnerable as well. Both have been learning how to be vulnerable. Tell me more. Inner cosmos to embrace the light. First acknowledge the dark. Trauma, seeing, go deeper. Okay, so there's something here about you really embracing the darkness. you got to shine lights on the darkness in order to move through the darkness. So this is taking those traumas, those triggers, seeing them for what they are, and diving deeper into those feelings. Asking yourself, why do I feel this way when someone does this? And why do I do this when someone does that? That's like really getting in there and just processing everything. Unmasking the truth. The eyes see only what the mind is prepared to know. So this is examining self. Standing in this revelation for self. So there's something here about not just seeing what the eyes want to see, but trusting that intuition with yourself too. So, okay. The truth is being exposed. Mental contest. Strength isn't from winning. Struggles define strengths. Control power repressed. So there's something here about this, this strength, mental strength. Something about gaining control over the struggles. And realizing that the struggles doesn't define who you are. Unseen patterns, change your thoughts, change your life, beliefs, and reprogramming. So this is like reprogramming your whole mind. Especially when you've been thinking for a certain way your whole life. So this is about changing your beliefs, changing your views when it comes to people around you. Changing your views and love. Feathered omens. Even the sweetest bird harbors fierce intentions. Self-deceit, illusions, and secrets. So there's something here about 
no longer deceiving self, like no longer, no longer like sabotaging something when it comes to self. This is like seeing the illusions within self. Like this is like owning things about self. And there's, there's been some people around the both of you that portray themselves as very sweet and kind, but they're very deceitful. And there's something here about your energy where these karmics were trying to make you seem like you were the deceitful one. But it's them that has been the deceitful ones all along. Embrace the void. Your true potential is waiting to be discovered. Emptiness, creative power. So this is about filling, filling that void with higher frequency things. This is about really tapping into your true potential. Taking all that pain and that emptiness and using it as fuel. To create a beautiful life for yourself. Battle within. The greatest war you wage is against yourself. Now that, 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 that is the truth. Inner conflict resolution. So this is this battle within. This is about the, the greatest war that you do have with yourself is against yourself. So this is like embracing the battle within. And doing everything that you can to overcome the battle within. So... So somebody here is definitely realizing that these rumors, they were just rumors. And somebody is definitely like wanting to, to come in here and like, they really want to like hash things out between the two of you because these rumors just got out of control here. So, all right, beautiful Leo, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Sunday.